Hey there. Well, I thought it was important to make a follow-up video to my last one to talk about how I really feel about these changes. Okay, I know there's going to be a lot of collateral damage to these new policies. My channel might even be one of the things that suffers. Even though I've tried to, to get rid of the stuff that, that, that could be a problem. Um, I hope that YouTube is able to accomplish their stated goals. Stated goals. We don't truly know what their real goals are. We don't really know. But I hope they're able to achieve their stated goals. One of the things that's happened on this platform for quite a while is introverted people don't feel comfortable enough to put out their viewpoints. A lot of times, it's, and, it, and it's, it's a lot of people on the left, a lot of in, very introverted people on the left, just terrified of putting out their views. There, especially, I mean, if there's a chance that some big YouTuber makes a response video doing ponage on them, you know, that person they're doing the response video to might, might receive thousands and thousands of insults in, po in comments, completely bombarded with, with this sort of thing. You know, now this, it doesn't seem quite as bad as it was a few years ago. But it's still there. It still happens. And when people see this, I mean, they may not even, some people may not even have ever made a video, but when they see that kind of behavior, they're like, oh, I'm not going to get involved in that. When the introverts are scared of saying their opinions, we're not really having diversity of opinion, are we? Only diversity of opinion of people with the thickest skin. Is that right? Is that really diversity of opinion? You know, I mean, because as I've stated before, some of the only people left on who are left on the left are the ones that are unreasonable. Because the rest of them don't, don't want to bother dealing with all that shit. So again, you know, I, I, I know there's going to be a lot of collateral damage. My channel might even be one of those things. And you know what? This could end up killing a huge portion of YouTube. This could mess up YouTube. Now again, I talk about their stated goals. Some of their other goals sometimes seems like they want to turn YouTube into another Netflix. You know, I, I get it. I understand. Okay, sometimes it seems that way. And, and But I don't... This here doesn't remind me fully of them trying to do that. Okay. Some of, I've seen so many videos now where people are saying, no, no one's saying there's bullying and harassment, that that's a big problem. Nobody's saying that. Yeah, there's tons of people that are saying that. Most of them are the introverts. Most of them are the ones that are too chicken shit to make videos on this platform. Should you have to have the biggest balls to, to, to make a video on this platform? Should that be the way it really is? It doesn't sound right to me. So anyway, I hope that their stated goals are able to be met. Do I have faith that their stated goals will be able to be met? Not exactly, but I have hopes. I have hopes.